On the first program, we have a performance of Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra, which is probably Bartok's most popular orchestral piece. It's among the last he wrote. He wrote it in 1943 when he was actually living here in the United States in New York. The influence of composers like Debussy and Stravinsky, uh, other contemporaries of Bartok's whose musical language he'd taken in and, and, and really kind of uh, had influenced his own deeply. So you have this kind of great summation in the Concerto for Orchestra. And also, it's, it's a fascinating idea to write a concerto for orchestra. I mean, of course, there were the Baroque Concerti Grossi, which featured solos from the orchestra. Uh, you know, Bach's Brandenburg concertos are a great example of that. This is kind of on a different scale. It's really the entire orchestra as soloist, in a sense. The, the demanding virtuosity of Bartok's writing, not only for individual players in the orchestra, but for entire sections of the orchestra, really comes across in the piece, and it's just a magnificent showpiece. So it, it can kind of thrill an audience on many levels. Intellectually, you hear the influence of Stravinsky and these other 20th century composers, but, but really what you're hearing is Bartok. I mean, he's, he's, he's taken it in and made it fully his own. Uh, on a kind of, on a kind of uh, uh, sort of melodic level, you hear these, these influences of very exotic Hungarian folk tunes and other sort of East Central European folk musics. And then, of course, on the sort of physical level, there's the sheer impact of the thrilling virtuosity of the orchestra, which, you know, it's, it's like, I don't know, being punched in the stomach, but in a good way. It's just, it's just it hits you so hard and, and, you know, sends tingles up the spine. So it's really, it's really a thrilling piece, and I'm glad that we have the opportunity to do it as part of this festival.